Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today I've got here with me the new Asus Pro Art PZ13. This is a laptop designed to be used on the go wherever we go. And it's waterproof. So let's take a closer look and see how it performs. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oim keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below the asus pro art pz13 has a waterproof protection of ip52 which means that it will handle water exposure if we are in very humid areas for example but obviously we will not be able to pick it up and go swimming on a beach or on the swimming pool. But if it gets a few drops of water, like it already did a few moments ago, it's no problem at all. And that's a really cool feature on a on-the-go device. It has a 13 inches OLED display with 3K resolution with Dolby Vision and offering stunning colors and contrast, even at those extreme angles that we usually don't use only for these crazy tests that we do. Now, it has a detachable keyboard, which allows you to use it as a regular laptop when attached, of course, but once removed, it becomes a powerful 13-inch tablet. We can navigate with our hands or with the Asus Pen 2.0 stylus, which has over 4,000 pressure levels. This is great for writing and drawing, as long as you know how to draw. Uh, in my case, I honestly don't. The keyboard is detachable and magnetic and it is a backlit keyboard, which is really cool if we use the laptop on the go in low light areas. The touchpad is smooth and it has a responsive touch and for a 13 inch laptop has a decent size. Typically this kind of laptop have tiny touchpads, but Asus managed to give us a nice size and quality and of course the keyboard also acts as a protection so if we are not using we just need to put it in close it up and we have a full cover on both sides it has the snapdragon x plus with eight cores and 45 tops 16 gigabytes of ram and one terabyte ssd and a few weeks ago we took a look at the asus pro art p16 with the latest amd ryzen ai 370 which is a awesome cpu but we also took a look at the asus vivobook s15 with the snapdragon x elite which is above the x plus right over here. Now, in a few moments, I will share with you some numbers that I've tested so that we can compare these three machines. But I will leave links down below for the full reviews of all the machines that we have tested. This is also a Copilot Plus PC, which has more than 45 tops. And this just means that we will be able to run AI tasks locally without sending to the cloud, which is awesome, especially for those that don't want to share any sensitive data. Connectivity wise, I didn't forget. It has one USB type C 4.0 Thunderbolt 4. That is it. So that was the reason that I did forget. No, I'm just kidding. It has two USB Type-C 4.0 Thunderbolt. One is hidden right beneath this cover right over here, along with a SD card slot, which is capable of reading up to 300 megabytes of seconds. I don't miss the ports on this kind of machine because usually on the go, I don't connect that many peripherals. When I arrive at home or at the office is another story. Story. But when I settle down, usually I want to connect a monitor, a keyboard or a mouse. And in that case, I'd probably I have a docking station. So it's no stress at all. And honestly, I thought before doing the unboxing that it only had one port. And I thought, well, Asus is being really bold. It reminded me me of a machine that we tested here on the channel, the Asus ROG Flow Z. 
13, which only adds a USB type C and also a eGPU connection because that was a device targeted at gaming, which is not the case. But talking about gaming, let's talk about some numbers. So let's talk about performance. In terms of benchmarks, I did start with Geekbench and we can see that single core score is 2,423 and multi core score 10,500. Geekbench on the GPU side scored 10,000 and on Cinebench 2023 and 2024. I can leave some numbers on the screen so that you can check out and compare with other machines that you are researching. But one of the interesting things is I want to compare this machine with the others that we have seen. Snapdragon X Elite on the VivoBook S15 and also the AMD Ryzen AI HX 307 on the Asus Pro Art P16. And we can see that it's quite a diff, especially on the multi-core score where the X Plus has 10,500, the X Elite 14,000, and finally the AI HX 370 with 15. So this means that this is probably not the fastest machine and we will check that in real world usage in just a moment But it is a machine with capable hardware to edit photos and videos So for video and photo editing the experience that I had was solid and rendering took about 11 minutes and 14 seconds to process a 13 minute 4k timeline in CapCut so roughly 20% less than the full duration of our project. Now we can compare with other laptops that we recently reviewed. Editing and rendering the same exact file. We can see that from the X Plus that took 11 minutes and 14 seconds, the X Elite only took 6 minutes, so almost half, and the AMD Ryzen AI HX370 only two minutes and 30 seconds doesn't mean that we can't edit with this machine actually it edits quite well we just will take a bit longer to render one of the things that i did enjoy was the silence now the fans will spin up when the cpu and gpu are taxed but not that much unfortunately at the moment of the recording i wasn't able to test out with davinci resolve 19. we did test out the snapdragon x elite a few weeks ago but at this moment i was having a error of graphics drivers so this is something usual on this type of machine with the new cpus from snap Dragon, and this is something that I believe that in a couple of days it will be fixed because software like Microsoft Windows and other software like DaVinci Resolve and whatnot are being improved and optimized for this CPU lineup. But there are some times like this one right over here that we don't have the tool available because we are a early adopter so just have this in mind that if you want to get this machine it doesn't mean that you can't use davinci resolve it just means that at this moment in time i wasn't able to if you wonder if you can play games here yes we can don't expect triple a games because it doesn't have a dedicated gpu and we have seen the performance of the snapdragon x plus gpu score so i would say that you will be fine playing light games but if you are looking for something for really high demanding games then i would look at the asus pro art p16 which will be one of the links down below so in conclusion we are comparing the asus pz13 with two machines which are a lot more powerful and a lot more expensive so i would say that it's an unfair comparison but if we compare the pz13 with the microsoft surface pro for example which is one of the contesters with the same cpu and the same design same target i would say that this would be my choice not only for the design and probably the best construction but also because if we compare the price although it seems the same when we put it on the cart here we will have the double of storage which is one terabyte of ssd unlike the microsoft surface which only has 500 12 gigs maximum and we also have to count for the asus pen stylus 2.0 which comes on this package if you enjoyed the video don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Huerta george and as always i'll see you on the next one